Hello everyone, we are in John Copin at DreamHack Summer 2013 and we have an interview with uh, Kuroki. Hello. Yeah. So, it's your uh, first travel to DreamHack with a new team Navi and it's your second LAN event. Uh, let's talk about uh, how I go in with the team. Uh, what's your impressions now after playing for Navi for a while? Uh, so far everything has been quite nice. Uh, I'm satisfied with the team performance so far. There's not much to say, we're looking forward to playing the tournament, so we're gonna see what happens. Uh, how did your language and communication barrier improve, or does it uh, make any troubles for you? Uh, well, the more you play together in the team, it's easier to understand each other without talking much. While we, <coughs> my teammates mostly speak in Russian, and we mix it with English, it's still understandable for me, as I also understand some Russian. But our main communication goes through the game itself. So. A few months ago, in the video we did from the bootcamp, uh, it was a mix of Russian and English. Uh, and uh, then we had a period of some sloppy performance by Navi, you were losing the games. Uh, some people stated it was because of the uh, communication barrier. But recently, uh, things began to get better. And do you think uh, it's what actually improved? What did uh, you improve? We didn't change anything particular. We just play more together, so after a while when the team plays more together and we all know each other already for some years, we just get more used to each other and then you just start playing better, get better team feeling. It's, yeah, it's just normal progress of a team basically. I think you won't deny uh, that uh, Navi is a team of five very strong characters. Uh, they have their own uh, ego, it's ego very strong and how do you actually cope with that? Uh, it's quite easy. <laughs> I'm a strong character myself, so you have five idiots talking to each other and five idiots, they kind of get together in the end anyway, so we're always happy. Uh, so. Do you think you still need to sacrifice your own uh, ego to ruin the performance of the team? It's not a question of sacrificing ego. We, we all have to sacrifice something. It's not only ego, it's, it's a lot of stuff. And in the end, we, we try to achieve the same goal and we all know that. So we get together and it's not like some ego is going to stand in our way to win some games. Because that's, that would be stupid. We just try our best to achieve as much as possible, play good, have a good show for our fans and eventually try to success. A lot of people have been discussing the recent performance of Alliance at the, in China and G-League and you're going to China very soon. Uh, what would you say about uh, East versus uh, West, uh, the battle, what are your insights right now? Uh, I don't care much about East versus West, to be honest. For me, it's I play against any team, be it Alliance or Orange. I don't see them as East and West teams. They're just teams. They are very good teams, and I'm looking forward to playing any good team in Dota. So, what's your main objective of visiting China? Is it like a practice versus uh, Asian teams, or it's some some kind of a team building trip that you guys will be living for two weeks all together? What what's uh, for you? What's personal it is? Well, it's mainly uh, for training purposes, and that's it. We go there. We try to get better as a team. We want to play the big teams over there, since you can play them from here, since the ping doesn't really allow it to. And furthermore, there's the Alienware Cup tournament. We're gonna participate, and we try to get the top placement as much as possible. So, okay. Uh, recently, a new Dota 2 big patch uh, was just released. Uh, would you actually tell us, tell me the two things? The first one, the change in the draft system. It actually uh, should be very major for esports uh, professional players. What actually does it change? Uh, well, the change was just recently, and it's hard to give direct and direct answer to to that question. We still have to figure out what to do. It sometimes takes up to three to five months after a new patch to get the full potential of all heroes and draft system, etc. figured out. So I can't say anything clearly about the situation. 
And what about the new heroes and the tweaks uh, to old, I mean, heroes that changed in the patch? Because I've heard that you and Puppy, uh, you spend a lot of time talking about the changes and the strategies. If this is something that you can share with the community. Well, since DreamHack starts soon, we're gonna see what we have thought of. So, nothing particular, but uh, you might get surprised. But, okay, let's... Uh, Let's say it in other words. Uh, will we see any uh, new heroes that uh, Navi didn't use before? Maybe. Okay. So thank you for the interview. Uh, I wish you good luck on the dream hack and uh, stay with us. Subscribe to our channel and see you with the new videos from Dream Hack and John Coppin. Bye bye.